What's up guys, it's Schmingar. We have a Carl Sagan deck today. Uh, he's gonna buff our sp uh, space spy uh, spiders. <laughs> science cards, space spiders. <laughs> he's gonna buff our science cards <laughs> by 16 and reduce our space cards by one until played. As long as we have exactly nine of each album, science and space, and we do. So we're gonna do a Carl Sagan deck. Uh, space technology is an arena bonus today, not, or this week. <laughs> so I'm doing space technology, and I found this little guy. So our science cards are aviation. <laughs> so Planet X. I think everybody knows Planet X, but if you have nine space cards, the four is irrelevant to me right now. If you have nine space cards, they're gonna get 14 permanently, or nine or fewer space cards. So, we do. <laughs> Supermassive gets three per non space. Uh, space cards get three per non space. So, let's see, nine, that'll be 27 to each of my space cards. Ion Thruster will reduce my space tech cards by one until played. Uh, Galileo system, satellite system will increase our awesome aviation by 25 until play. If we lost, it'll give us 15 next turn, so a little extra bonus. This will boost our space tech by 26 until play. Uh, this is a space tech card. <laughs> it, on the next turn, it'll get 50 power, and our space cards will get 13 power. So the power on this may vary. You might play one space card, two space cards, three space cards, ideally three. Uh, so hopefully it's 89 total power, but it can be like 76, 63, 50. <laughs> space tech card, James Webb Space Telescope. It's going to give a random space card a hand 35 until played. Mars Rover Curiosity, very cheap space tech card that will give our space tech cards in hand 15 until played. And this is going to reduce our space tech cards by one until played, wherever they are. All right, that's enough of the space cards. Coleman's going to buff our aviation cards by 20 until played if we lost the turn. That's pretty cool. Uh, ideally, combo that with aviator sunglasses, overall a weak card, but will buff our aviation cards by 10 until played. Uh, the balloon is going to reduce our right flyers by 4 until played and buff it by the turn for the turn by 72. Uh, ch -ch -ch. If we can find it, that's gonna give us five for the turn. That's a pretty big card. Spitfire is gonna give our awesome aviation twenty-five for the turn. It also hits dogs. That's pretty cool. So, you know, reference to dog fighting. <laughs> Air Force One awesome aviation cards are subtract by two until play. Pretty cool. Awesome aviation get eight permanently. Not bad. But also on the draw, brilliant human body cards and superstructures to your opponents in hand will cost two for two turns. How likely is that to trigger? Not likely. Unless they have like Statue of Liberty in their deck or something. But, you know, you never know what kind of people, what kind of decks people are going to be running. Barnstorm Stormman will increase our awesome aviation by 15 until played on the draw. The card opposite will lose 50 for the turn and remaining awesome aviation in hand lose five permanently. So that little loss, the permanent loss sucks, but it's for the greater good. Uh, I think that's it. All right, cool. <laughs> Let's get into it. <laughs> nice, nice. Love to see. I'm getting right into the game. Quizzo. Alrighty, let's see. Uh, we definitely want to get those in Space Tech Arena. We want to buff them before Space Tech Arena. And we are going to throw in Carl Sagan. Looking pretty good. 
I saw some kind of shark. Greenland shark? Oh my. What kind of deck is this? Oh my. <laughs> what is going on? I think we'll lose the turn. What is it, shark deck? I don't know why the riding the waves card is in there, but now it, now it makes sense. It's it's basically a shark deck. I see what's happening. That's cool. I like sharks. <laughs> I do. I really like sharks. Ah, still didn't pull out. That's fine. Ouch. We're about to start shining. I can feel it. I can feel it in my jellies. If you don't... <laughs> If you don't know, that's a, uh, that's a reference to, uh, Detective Pikachu movie. I really, really like that movie. I, I, when that movie was coming out, I was really scared they were gonna ruin it. Uh, as most do. <laughs> But when the Detective Pikachu movie came out, and I actually watched it, I was very, very pleasantly surprised. And I have a very soft spot in my heart for that movie now. It's just so good. It's heartwarming. It's definitely got uh, the action in there, the Pokemon action. Um, it's got a plot twist or two in there. It's just, it's just a good movie. I enjoyed it. And, um, I forgot to respond to him. Uh, what else was I gonna say? I don't know. <laughs> I got to <laughs> see how easily it is for me to get distracted when I'm talking, when I'm trying to multitask. Boom, boom. They're going to run out of energy before me. They're actually not looking good on energy. Let's see here. What is the bonus for this? 60? Wow, so most of this power is just coming from my cards. That's pretty good. That's awkward placement for uh, maybe a, uh, I'm placing there. Oh well, alrighty then. <laughs> um, 
I don't know if I want to throw out Bessie Coleman then. Because he's, he's... No, well... Uh... No, he's not going to play any cards. So I think what I'm going to do here is... Uh, I'm just gonna do that. I just I don't know. I didn't want to waste Bessie just in case I lose this turn. Um, I didn't want to throw out Barnstorming. I didn't want to waste the right flyers. He he, he kind of messed me up. Let me just go with that. Ah, I thought so. It's fine. Alrighty. Sonic Boom. Wow, oh, this deck is very efficient on energy. Very efficient. Uh, oh, he gave up. Oh, he's... Oh, I forgot. He's practically out of energy. <laughs> Oh god. Somebody somebody I'm gonna start a um donation campaign. <laughs> I'm gonna start donations and maybe get my head checked because <laughs> Yeah, sorry, buddy. Running out of energy sucks. That's not bad. I'm going to try that again. Do, 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 do. I really don't remember the cards that are supposed to be coming out this week. Uh, it was really only a select few that I saw. I know they release more than they reveal. But the, in the reveals, there was only like two or three, I think. That I was looking forward to. Uh, Cat came out today, I think. Yesterday? Something. I don't know. I was testing out different cute cat decks. And, um, I mean, it wasn't bad. Uh, It just depended on which deck I was running. But regardless of what deck I was running, it definitely could have been better. The cute cats are still I mean it's not even It's not even because they're lacking too too much. I mean they have decent cards like Nor Norwegian Forest Cat is pretty good. Norwegian Forest Cat is better in a Vikings deck than it is a cute cats deck. Because you're forced to use three Vikings. And right now, three Vikings is not that good. And uh, 
cute cat's neck. Three Vikings are not that good. So, they, I, the collection is very limited. Uh, no pun intended. But, <laughs> but there's really not many cards in Vikings, right? So, you're forced to use three Vikings in a cute cat's deck. And what, like, what are your options with that? There aren't many. And they do have diverse options, but in a cute cat's deck, those diverse options aren't good enough. Because Vikings work with, like, Unruly Rulers and um, Arts Cards and stuff like that. And not Life Online or cute cats, right? So, Norwegian Force Cat is currently a little subpar um in a cute cat's deck but it is pretty good in a viking's deck since you it's a viking's deck that you, you don't really care about that requirement of three vikings because you're just going to get that anyway you're probably going to have all of the vikings in your deck well not all of them Maybe. I don't know. But like I said, Vikings need more. Yeah. You know, one, for their collection to be better. And two, for Norwegian Force Cat to not feel bad in a cute cat's deck. Because it's a cute cat. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway. My my main deck I was trying was was nine cute cats with three unruly rulers and three Vikings. One three uh, Vikings to activate Norwegian Forest Cat and two three unruly rulers to make exactly six history cards for Herald to activate, which is a Viking. And the second half of number two. Charlemagne. Three or more uh, Unruly Ruler cards. Your entire deck gets six permanently. So, um... Yeah. Yeah. That's basically my thought process there. Before I forget, I was talking about the cute cats. Let's see here. Oh god. Alright, I'm good. Before I forget, I was talking about the cute cats. I'm gonna try to remember to show you the card I'm talking about. It is the new cat. But, uh, it's like, it's one of my new favorite cards now. It's one of my new favorite cards. I will be keeping every single one I get from here on out, just like Black Panther. Will I be trading for it like Black Panther? Probably not. Probably not. You know, it's just a basic legendary. It's whatever. But I'm probably not going to give anybody this cat. And you'll see why. <laughs> when I show it. Uh, space cards. Oh, God. You know what? I'm just gonna do this. It's whatever. I don't care. My rotation in this game has been atrocious. My cycling is... 
fucking amazing. As hell. So that's gone. They're not gonna draw that, uh... Until round five now. So if I can just win round four, then, uh, you know, <laughs> I don't have to worry about hell. <laughs> Those space technology cards. Sixty, right? Yeah. Pretty good. Testudo format. Oh, this is a bot. Dang it. And it's not a Roman bot either. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I've, this deck feels pretty good. I like it. Doop, doop. Maybe I should have played Avatar Sungla Aviators <laughs> Avatar. <laughs> Maybe I should have played Aviator Sunglasses first. So th I don't know. I don't plan on making it to round five anyway. So maybe that was the right decision. I hope I don't go to round five. Good God. Got a nice little Halloween deck there. Alright, we're gonna close out the game. Hopefully, we don't get scammed. <laughs> Hopefully, we don't get scammed here. We'll close out the game. Yeah. We're fine. He has to do like over 500 something. Hope you guys enjoyed that Sagan deck. I do enjoy Carl Sagan. I just don't build. I don't build decks around Carl Sagan. I've been wanting to. I think this is the first time I've tried to take it seriously. I, I mean, I like this space technology and uh, awesome aviation. Go pretty well together with uh, Carl Sagan. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, catch you next time.